Karen Tucker, and I'm going to show you how to do a correct poodle tail. One of the things I find is that people tend to take the tails up too high, especially when you have a correctly docked tail on a poodle. See her tail, the end of her tail is right here. So it's correctly docked. So what you do is if you don't have any lines, what I do is I kind of just take it with the grain at first, where I'm doing my band. So then I kind of see where my tail set is. And then I start coming up a little bit. Going against the grain, get around the butthole. And then what I do is right on the bottom of the anal area as I come around with the bottom of my clipper and I come up and I make a V at their, at their back. And I do this on the other side too. So basically it's about a blade width up and you actually want to come up into the tail set a little bit and V that out a little bit. So you can show off a tail, the tail set and you can fix things. So then I come in here, neaten up my line. Neaten that line. And it should be all the way down. It should be... That's about right. Because you came up into the tail set and then you have, when you put the tail up, you can see that it's only probably about an inch. So then... To get the tail nice and round, I twist it, take my curves, make sure my thumb's just above the tail set, her tail's right here, because you can always take off more, and then I'm going to cut the end, fluff it up, and she's got kind of a floppy uh, tail. So we're going to come down, I shake it a little bit, comb it down, shake it a little. And I'm not cutting to my clipper line yet, because she does have, a, uh, I don't want a Christmas tail when I get done with her. I'm going to go to the top. All the way around. You can kind of see that we've got the little Christmas tree going on right now, but we're going to take care of that. And I come all the way around, trying to get it to bevel up a little bit. Then I fluff it up, shake it, bevel it up a little bit more, take my little point off that's over here, and just round it up. And so I'm not too worried about the top of the tail yet. That's why I left a little extra length on the top of the tail. Coming all the way around, bring the tail down a little bit. And then just kind of take any extra off. See, if you take the tail up too high, you can't get it to you can't blend any, you can't get it to bevel up and make a nice little round ball. I call it the little flag tail when they take it too high. Because it just looks like a little flag flying out there. And then we're going to come in here, bevel this in a little bit more. And this is where I take my tip off. All the way around. You just think round the whole time like a pom-pom round. All the way around. She just had a lot of hair on there. <laughs> She's been used by everybody in the world to scissor on right now, so. <laughs> so now you kind of have like a little round tail. And then I take my shears and I bevel this in in the tail set. So you can show that off. And you see I'm taking my curves reverse. You can do curves reverse or you can do straights and come straight off, straight off. And then you take this hair off here. If you have a dog that's shaved, you don't have to worry about doing this except for right in here, obviously. But she's just been kind of rough cut in. So then you can see it kind of shows off her tail set. 
up in here. Neaten up a little bit more. You can always put a little thick and thicker in there or some type of body fine spray in there to help it a little bit. All right. So now we've got our poodle tail. Nice set, little round ball and not sticking straight up in here. See, if you take it to, up to here, you just, you, there's no way you can make this ball without having this much hair on the end. So it's just make sure you don't ever go more than an inch above the um, tail set. Okay, my name's Karen, and I'm hoping you, you enjoyed this. Thank you. <laughs>